Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocknick's YouTube channel. In this video, we will recall the remainder theorem, state and illustrate the factor theorem, and use the factor theorem to find factors of a polynomial. To start off, find the remainder when 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 6 is divided by x plus 2. Using our divisor, solve for the value of x, and that is equal to negative 2. Therefore, we will then have p of negative 2 is equal to 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 6. Substituting all the values of x by negative 2, that is equal to 3 times negative 2 cubed plus 2 times negative 2 squared minus 4 times negative 2 plus 6. Simplifying the exponents, we will then have 3 times negative 8 plus 2 times 4 minus 4 times negative 2 plus 6, which is equal to negative 24 plus 8 plus 8 plus 6 which results to p of negative 2 equals negative 2. Let us now discuss the factor theorem. The factor theorem states that when we divide the polynomial p of x by x minus c and p of c is equal to 0, then x minus c is a factor of p of x. For our first example, is x minus 2 a factor of x squared plus 6x minus 16? Using the remainder theorem, the value of x using our divisor is equal to positive 2. Therefore, we will then have p of 2 is equal to 2 squared plus 6 times 2 minus 16, which is equal to 4 plus 6 times 2 minus 16, or simply 4 plus 12 minus 10, which is equal to 16 minus 16 equals 0. Since the remainder is equal to 0, we therefore conclude that x minus 2 is a factor of x squared plus 6x minus 16. Is x plus 2 a factor of 2x cubed minus x squared plus 3x plus 5? Using again the concept of the remainder theorem, with our divisor as x plus 2, therefore the value of our x is equal to negative 2, which will give us p of negative 2 is equal to 2x cubed minus x squared plus 3x plus 5. Substituting the values, we will then have p of negative 2 is equal to 2, times negative 2 cubed minus negative 2 squared plus 3 times negative 2 plus 5. Simplifying the exponents, we will have p of negative 2 equals 2 times negative 8 minus 4 plus 3 times negative 2 plus 5, which is equal to negative 16 minus 4 minus 6 plus 5, or simply p of negative 2 is equal to negative 21. Since our remainder is negative 21, then we may conclude that x plus 2 is not a factor of p of x which is equal to 2x cubed minus x squared plus 3x plus 5. Is x plus 5 a factor of x squared plus 7x plus 10? Using the concept of the remainder theorem and with our divisor as x plus 5, we will then have p of negative 5 equals x squared plus 7x plus 10. Substituting the values of x by negative 5, we will then have negative 5 squared plus 7 times negative 5 plus 10. Simplifying the exponents, that is equal to 25 minus 7 times 5 plus 10 or simply 
25 minus 35 plus 10, which is equal to 0. Since the remainder is equal to 0, then x plus 5 is a factor of x squared plus 7x plus 10. Find the value of k such that x minus 3 is a factor of x squared plus 3kx minus 15. Using the concept of the remainder theorem, solve for the x using our divisor. Therefore, we will have p of 3 is equal to x squared plus kx minus 15. Substituting all the values of x by 3, we will then have p of 3 is equal to 3 squared plus k times 3 minus 15. Since x minus 3 is a factor of the given polynomial, we all know that the remainder is equal to 0. The equation will now be 0 is equal to 3 squared plus k times 3 minus 15. Simplifying the exponents that is equal to 0 equals 9 plus 3k minus 15. Regrouping the terms that is equal to 3k equals 15 minus 9, which is equal to 3k equals 6. Dividing both sides by 3 to get the value of k that is equal to k equals 2. Therefore, x minus 3 is a factor of x squared plus 2x minus 15. Find the value of k such that x minus 1 is a factor of x cubed plus kx squared plus 3x minus 10. Using our divisor, which is x minus 1, the value of our x will now be equals to 1. Therefore, we will have p of 1 is equal to x cubed plus kx squared plus 3x minus 10. Since x minus 1 is a factor, therefore, the remainder is equal to 0. That is equal to 0 equals 1 cubed plus k times 1 squared plus 3 times 1 minus 10. Simplifying the exponents, that is equal to 0 equals 1 plus k plus 3 minus 10. Regrouping the terms, that is equal to k equals negative 1 minus 3 plus 10. Or simply, k is equal to 6. We therefore conclude that x minus 1 is a factor of x cubed plus 6x squared plus 3x minus 10. Find the value of k such that x minus 2 is a factor of x cubed plus kx squared minus kx plus 1. Using our divisor which is x minus 2, the value of our x will now be 2. So that is equal to p of 2 equals x cubed plus kx squared minus kx plus 1. Substituting the value of x by 2. And since x minus 2 is a factor of the given polynomial, the remainder is equal to 0. So that means that 0 is equal to 2 cubed plus k times 2 squared minus k times 2 plus 1. Simplifying the exponents, we will then have 0 equals 8 plus 4k plus 2k plus 1. Combining like terms, that is equal to 4k minus 2k equals negative 8 minus 1. Or simply, 2k equals negative 9. Dividing both sides by 2 to get the value of k, that is equal to k equals negative 9 over 2. That means that x minus 2 is a factor of x cubed minus 9 over 2x squared plus 9 over 2x plus 1. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. The factor theorem states that when we divide a polynomial p of x by x minus c, and p of c is equal to 0, then x minus c is a factor of p of x.
Let us now check your knowledge. Solve for what is asked in the given items. Do not forget to pause the video while you are doing the activity. Let us now discuss the answers. Is x minus 7 a factor of x squared minus 16x plus 63? Solving for the value of x using our divisor, x will now be equals to 7. Therefore, we will have p of 7 is equal to 7 squared minus 16 times 7 plus 63. Simplifying the exponents, that is equal to 49 minus 112 plus 63, which is equal to p of 7 equals 112 minus 112 or simply equals to 0. Since the remainder is equal to 0, then x minus 7 is a factor of x squared minus 16x plus 63. Find the value of k such that x minus 3 is a factor of x cubed plus 2x squared minus kx minus 18. Using our divisor which is x minus 3, the value of x is equal to 3. Applying the concept of the remainder theorem, we will have p of 3 is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared minus kx minus 18. Since x minus 3 is a factor, we therefore conclude that the remainder is equal to 0. Therefore, we will have 0 equals 3 cubed plus 2 times 3 squared minus k times 3 minus 18. Simplifying the exponents, that is equal to 27 plus 18 minus 3k minus 18. By grouping the terms, we will have 3k is equal to 27. Dividing both sides by 3 to get the value of k, that is equal to k equals 9. We therefore conclude that x minus 3 is factor of x cubed plus 2x squared minus 9x minus 18. Find the value of k such that x plus 3 is a factor of 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus kx plus 2k. Using the divisor x plus 3, the value of x will now be negative 3. Therefore, we will have p of negative 3 equals 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus kx plus 2k. Since x plus 3 is a factor, we therefore conclude that the remainder is equal to 0. Therefore, we will have 0 equals 2 times negative 3 cubed minus 3 times negative 3 squared plus k times negative 3 plus 2k. Simplifying the exponents, we will have 0 equals 2 times negative 27 minus 3 times 9 minus 3k plus 2k. Simplifying the operations, we will have 0 equals negative 54 negative 27 minus 3k plus 2k. By transposition, that is equal to 3k minus 2k equals negative 54 minus 27. Or simply, k is equal to a negative 81. Since k is equal to negative 81, we therefore conclude that x plus 3 is a factor of 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 81x minus 162. Thank you for watching Sir Ofnik's YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless!